founder and CTO of Infonera Corporation. So, Drew, what do you think of the conference today so far? Uh, it's been great. A lot of very interesting talks, a lot of uh, very interesting speakers here. Okay. So, how does the whole concept of cloud computing impact your business? Like, when, uh, when you know, I mean, let's, let's explain for people out there what does Infonera do and how the whole clouds and the new consumer web, how does it impact your business? Well, Infinera's business is directly related to the amount of capacity, amount of demand for uh, transport capacity and just bandwidth uh, there is out there. And applications are what drive that. So more and better applications that use more and more bandwidth uh, drive Infinera's business. And uh, we don't necessarily care what those applications are. That doesn't impact us uh, except to the degree that those applications use more bandwidth. Uh, what we see and what I uh, just spoke about is the impact of video. We see video uh, as being at the root of driving you know, phenomenal amounts of uh, demand for capacity and bandwidth. Uh, and there are more and more applications that become video enabled uh, uh, are going to drive more and more bandwidth and more users uh, that uh, uh, use those applications are going to drive more and more bandwidth. And, and cloud computing you know, uh, is probably part of that. Um, it's just providing more and more reasons for uh, people to use the internet and, and applications, whether they're video or any other kind of applications. So when you talk about video, you know, there's a lot of schools of thought out there. When people say, you know, video is going to break the internet, some people say, you know, that's why we need to have network neutrality, this, and, you know, put tears on the web, and God knows what. what, what what's your take? You know, you make the equipment which makes a lot of bandwidth happen. What's your take on all this? Well, uh, what I just spoke about in my uh, talk, in fact, is that that video could break the internet uh, if the amount of, if the demand for video and the demand for capacity that video drives uh, causes the amount of equipment and, and uh, operations staff uh, necessary to supply that uh, bandwidth uh, explodes. Um, but that explosion can be controlled, needs to be controlled by having technology that grows exponentially as the demand for capacity uh, grows exponentially as well. And at Infonero, we believe that we have that kind of technology that is capable of doing that and will allow the internet to, to grow and, and uh, um, do so without exploding and, and, and absolutely fine. In a cost-effective manner. Is absolutely, in a cost-effective manner. So, it's got to grow. Yeah. It's gotta, the technology's got to supply uh, capacity exponentially uh, at uh, falling uh, power and space as well as the, uh, let the economics uh, grow exponentially or, or you know, stay uh, roughly constant. Uh, so what are, the, what, what are the key things that need to happen in order for, uh, for the price of bandwidth and cost of operating a network to keep coming down? I know you guys targeted the OPEX part of the equation pretty effectively with your photonic chips back in the day and now with your with your always increasing number of products. But what do you think really needs to happen from a larger perspective in order for for you know for our wide band future to actually or ultra band future to really happen? Um, what needs to happen is is that the, the componentry needs to keep allowing more and more capacity to be put on a fiber at, at roughly the same cost and, and be put uh, on a line card and, and keep the number of line cards and the amount of equipment deployed roughly the same at you know, roughly the same uh, cost over time, uh, but uh, at more and more and more higher and higher capacity. Right. Uh, as long as the R&D dollars continue to go into development of that componentry and the systems based on that componentry, uh, I think that, that things will continue to scale and, and scale up. Yeah, but th that's the dilemma right now, which is one of the things I'm hoping to address in this conference is that why aren't VCs investing in a lot of these components and infrastructure companies? Everybody seems to be interested in putting money into the front-end web applications, but not into the stuff which actually costs a lot of you know, dollars, but is very necessary for the next generation internet to be built. Yeah. Uh, well, that's sort of a dilemma uh, of how to fund uh, the development of this thing, and it, it somewhat has to do with the number of uh, equipment suppliers that are still out there uh, that are shipping commodity equipment uh, and, and, and uh, push the cost down simply through falling margins, uh, which lead to fewer R&D dollars for everyone to uh, pump into to, uh, 
I have next generation equipment. So that, so that, that's really the challenge uh, for the companies that are in this space. Right. I mean, I find it so surprising that some of the bigger guys, and without naming names, uh, multinational, so to speak, are are they just don't come up with anything interesting anymore. And these are the people who once had the most innovative, you know, labs and brains behind them. So, what? So, what's the future from an equipment perspective? Well, that is, in fact, the problem that uh, uh, the big uh, vendors, the uh, hotels, licenses of the world, the Nortels of the world, have not uh, pumped the dollars into the development of the basic componentry and, and underlying technology. Uh, back in you know, 2000, 2001, 2002, etc., they, they sold off all the, the uh, groups and things that actually did that underlying uh, our, uh, componentry and the R&D. And we think that's a problem, and that's how Infinera really differentiates itself by being a vertically uh, integrated company uh, that is developing new and better uh, component technology, because uh, that's where the, the innovation uh, begins. And uh, we think that's just a huge opportunity for Infinera because uh, we're, we're really unique today in being vertically integrated and, and continuing to, to uh, develop uh, better and better uh, component technology. Okay, I have one last question. So recently some carriers have reported that their, their bandwidth growth has actually slowed down and taken a little dip, cogent and level 3 for example. Uh, what's your forecast for the internet bandwidth growth and how do you see the next five years for the net? Uh, I really think that that bandwidth growth is very carrier service provider specific and uh, if you look at any specific service provider it's not necessarily going to reflect what the industry overall uh, and in aggregate is seeing. Uh, there's a lot of customers out there that are deploying their own bandwidth today and not necessarily going to service providers for that capacity and those people have to be factored in, uh, at least when you're an equipment vendor. Um, have the opportunity to sell to those uh, kind of uh, content, the content providers, other people deploying uh, that equipment directly and, and somewhat bypassing those service providers. Great. So um, you know, we, we, we believe that the overall uh, bandwidth in the uh, industry or capacity being used is continuing to grow and is not slowing down. In fact, we have many customers that say it continues to accelerate. Okay. Great. Thank you, Drew. And I uh, hope to see you again at one of our other minds. Thanks. Bye. Thank you very much.